So welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures and here we are Me and my main man electrician Damo aka Rooney We're on Chesil We're at Portland End I have to say I wanted to walk a little bit further But even I, I was absolutely shattered just even getting this distance So here we are we're about 300 yards off where I wanted to go. I think a lot of you local lads will know where I am. But happy days. Absolutely glorious. But to be fair, no good for fishing. So I've got a feeling we're gonna have to wait until dusk. I think it's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. Thereabouts, just after. And uh, I think we might struggle with, this, uh, with these conditions. But who cares? Look at this. It's absolutely glorious. Bit of an onshore wind there blowing, bit of breeze, that's nice. About half hour, 45 minutes ago, there weren't a breath and it was like a meal plong. So uh, I'm well welcome, bit of breeze, happy days. So we've got a vast array of baits. I've got me two big berthers here. So that's the Century 2000 Eliminators. I've got both me Dower 30 Hyper Speeds. But I've just literally just put on my old pen mag on one of them, just to see how it feels. Because to be fair, I'm thinking about a couple of casting specials. So uh, I might treat myself. But yeah, so I've got the Eliminator 1000s. Certainly get a biggish bait later as far as I can. All going well. We've just literally just started trying for some mackerel, a bit of feathering. Hopefully uh, towards the evening we might be able to get a fresh bait. I've got the uh, Ian, Ian Gold Bigaloo, which you saw last week that I used in Southbourne. More than big enough for uh, getting both of us in there. So happy days. Let's just hope these fish play ball because I tell you what, that was fucking lacquering getting to even to here. Another person a bit further and there's a, looks like a group further down, just past the fleet. A few smaller boats out there anchored up. Portland looking good. A little bit of high cloud occasionally coming over, which uh, which is very nice. Just for relieve you of that intense uh, bit of sun. Happy days. And there's room down there, uh, mackerelin. Room, don't stop. If you think you've got something, just wind. Just wind it in if you think you've got something. Yeah, so it's the first uh, first go on the mackerel. What's he doing? Does he think he's got one? Who knows? But yeah, so uh, let's see what happens. Um, as I say, we've got loads of bait. We've got black, sand eel, rag, squid. We have got some frozen mackerel, but it would be nice to get a, one or two fresh ones. We'll just have to see how it goes. Right. We're just gonna chill out for a couple of minutes and uh, carry on again with the old uh, mackerel in. Bring it on, speak to you in a bit. Right, let's have me first bait check and let's see what happens. Boy, not the best of conditions, but like I say, you've got to be in it to win it. Don't tell me I'm snagged. 
No, nope, I'm out. Yeah, so this one I've just got me scratching rig on. Two hook loop. And the other one, I just got me up and over. With 2.0 and 4.0 Sakuma Manta Extras. And that's just got half a squid and ragworm wrap. As I say, it's nice down here, but it's too nice. Do you know what I mean? Just want that bit of breeze or bit of cloud to come over. Knew it was going to be hard work, but sometimes you've just got to think, what the hell? Let's do this. And I've got a tiny, tiny little spider grab. <laughs> Let's have a look. There we go, look at that. Tiny, tiny little spider. Looks right in the, in the bottom. Hey, Arun. Little tiny spider crab. Happy days. Right, let's get this rod back out and uh, get the other one in. Happy days. Well, I can't believe this. Uh, I just lost uh, a garfish. I'm putting out a sliding float. And uh, yeah, it was going like mad. Been out there a little while on the uh, two hook loop bridge, so I just slid a, a sliding float down. Back out there again now. But yeah, it's just literally come out, come off, sorry, uh, yeah, about a rod length out. Not even, I can't even say I lost it in the surf. It just literally kicked and. Uh, came off gutted oh well it is what it is we're nice to have had that and as garfish for many years but yeah other than that it is very slow <laughs> obviously i had that little baby uh spider crab earlier but we wasn't expecting too much we were just hoping into darkness that uh, something might switch on and uh change off the fortune so to speak so we're doing the uh, regular Bait checks every half hour. Um, sometimes the bait's gone, sometimes it isn't, to be fair. So you could say it is a, it's hard work. <coughs> well, I would say it's <coughs> just gone a tad cooler, only fractional. I don't feel quite as, uh, as hard going as it was earlier in that sun, so yeah. So shall we, we shall persevere and uh, hopefully uh, into dusk we might, uh, might get something. Bring it on. Right, recording. Happy days. Just had a cracking bite. I may have had a cracking bike, but that didn't feel like I had anything on there. Come on. Doesn't feel promising, Rune. No, I don't think it is. Not unless it's swimming with me. But there's no weight there at all. Nope. Bugger. Oh, sir, is what we got? Oh, black bream. 
<laughs> Afri Dan didn't even know that was on there. Get in there. And we're off the mark at last. That's on the old free up clip down at range. Oh. Right, pal. Nice. Right. Let's get him back. As to be expected, it's been a grim day. Tide is well on its way up now. A lot more depth in front of us. Be nice just when that tide starts to weave. I believe high water's around 10, so not much longer. And all we've got is that, uh, uh, that one bream and that's all we've got to show for at the moment. But the witching hour is approaching. The up and over rig. So this one will go back out with a A long range bully. With squid and black. Black love rat. Let's get it out there. Right, that's that one back out. Let's now check the... I remember it's on a two up loop. Nothing on it. The trouble with casting so bloody far. Oh god, it takes ages. See what I mean? The worms just not being touched. Very strange. Let's get her out again. It's almost dark, bring it on. Oh, I didn't realise I had anything on there then. And I've got a nice plump old power. Our oh, room. Nice pout there. Didn't realise I had it on. <laughs> Happy days. That's a decent one anyway, isn't it? It's not like a Tiny, tiny one. So that was on the old squid and black rat. Right, let's get it back out. Things are moving at last. Wow, look at that. Well done, Damo. Bass there about four pounds and it looks like it's tried to take the 
take the small little pout. That's what it's done. Look at that on a size one. Camazan B940. Happy days. Well done, Rue. That's a stunning fish. Did it go well? Well, I heard it knocked my tripod over. That's why I went Oh, down. right. Did you not hear it? No. It knocked my tripod over. Happy. <laughs> well, taking that home, wouldn't you? That's what I was going to say, that's a lovely meal there. Well done, room, we'll get some pictures of that in a minute. Happy behave. Yeehaw! Woo! <laughs> Someone's an happy bunny. Ah, <laughs> come on. Apart from the fly. Right, let's have another check. That doesn't feel too heavy. These bloody flies down here are being a nuisance. But anyway, just to say, Rooney's bass went four pound two. Happy days. So we've had bass, bream and pout and lost that garfish during the day. Nah, definitely nothing on this one this time. Should we get it back out there though? So at the moment it's all oh, completely stripped. Completely stripped. So all the fish are just falling to all baits, whatever bait we're putting out now. They're, everything's taken it, so that's good. We've still got a few rag left. I mean, I might switch a bit later to two big baits, as I'm not fussed about using rag. I'd rather fish two big baits and uh, have a chance for something big, but we'll see. Right, let's get this one back out. Bring it on. Right, so Rooney's just had another pout and a scad on the same rig, so that's good. His first ever scad. It feels like I might have something on here, a little bit of weight there, I think. So yeah, so basically the fishing's just flying off now. Yeah, there's definitely something on it. Yeah, there's something on here, Rune. Yeah, nothing nothing big, but it's definitely something on it. What have we got? Tell you what, that tide's come up now, isn't it? There you are. Another two pout. Two pout? Yeah. Another two pout. Happy days. Because of the amount of fish out there, I've just cut the check times down now from half an hour to 20 minutes nothing on here this time oh it's been a cracking evening so far certainly made up for the day absolutely shite during the day but the old fish uh, within the last sort of like hour, hour and 15 minutes has just come on with a vengeance. Plenty out there. Rattles all the time. Right, let's 
let's get this one back out. Happy days. Right, see what the worm rod's doing. Bloody snagged, I think. Oh, oh I'm out, I'm out. Well, right, yeah, still something on there, I think. Bit of weight. Probably had a crowd, uh, probably had a pout or something, just uh, took me into a bit of a rock out there, I suspect. Yeah, definitely something on here, a bit of weight. Come on. Some good distances tonight, I don't know, a bit of weight there now, go on. There we go. Something there. Another pout. Another pout room. Just check the rig over. Make sure it's Not any nicks in the snows, all good. I have to say I'm loving this Sakuma fluorocarbon. Absolutely dog's nuts. You got a conga? Hold on, Rue. Let me get this out, mate, and I'll come and have a look. He's got an eel. <laughs> right, just walking along to young Rune. And I believe, ah, there we go, nice little scrap there. Conga. <laughs> well done, Rune. What's that on the old, is that fish bait or the oh, rag? rag? On the rag. Happy days, well done, mate. Thank First you. one? Cool yeah. Is. yeah, brilliant. Perfect. Right, so I'm looking, getting back. Right, let's have another bait check. Let's have a look. What have we got? Anything? Oh, something there, I think. A little bit of weight. Is there? Yeah, I would say there's something there. Probably another pout. Rune's just had another pout. Scores on the doors in our little competition. Seven to me, six to Rue. So it's anyone's at the moment. But at least we've had a few species, that's good. So we're using up and overs, pulley panels, free, pre hook clip downs, and we've got loop rigs as well. And there we go. Is that one or two? They are root, another pout. Eight, six, happy days. <laughs> look at that, look. Something's been, see that? Something's had a go at it. Probably a crab to be fair, it might be an eel. Don't look like an eel. Probably a crab. Right, let's get this one back out. I've already done the bigger bait. The bigger rod, sorry. So that tide is still flooding. But hasn't changed yet. But 
think it may have eased slightly. But yeah, good evening so far. Much better in the day. Very depressing during the day. But then it was then understandable with the clear and horrible clear conditions. All right. Oh. Happy days. Get out there. Get these baited back up and uh, happy days. Well, that's it. That's us done. We decided to call it a night. It's now, uh, well, it's gone half one now. Nothing else to. Uh, Shout about. We've had a good evening. Certainly a lot better than what it was during the daylight hours. So that's quite a few species, isn't that? Been a been a, been a good few hours of the darkness, so. That'll do us, and I think I'm just bringing the other line in, or I'll pull the other line. Uh, I've got a conga. You have. You got one. There we go, a little strap. Completely and utterly <laughs> ruined that tray. You got one as well. Same here. <laughs> Oh god, look at the size of them. That is unbelievable, look at that. Little tiny, tiny little scrap. And that one there, oh well, what was it? Well, I can cut it all. He's wrapped himself up. Yeah, you ain't gonna... Well, look at the state of mine. <laughs> Mine's horrendous. I'm not even gonna attempt to try and get that out. We'll cut our way out of it. Right, let's get the, let's get the last rod in. And then we'll worry about that in a second. Happy days. Get the last rod in. Yeah, enjoyable. Absolutely nothing on this one. Oh. Oh. Nothing on that one. Nothing at all. Right, let's sort these out and uh,
So that is it. Last truck done. I think I have to go back, but I think that's a total of ten fish for me. Nine for Rooney. Oh. You got another fish, Rune? Yeah, another conga. It's even smaller. That's it. I thought it was. That's it then. Ten fish each. Happy days. Well, that's it from Dobbo Fishing Adventures from Chesil. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed what you've seen. We certainly really enjoyed it towards the end, so that's good. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you can hit the like and hit the subscribe, that would be fantastic. And I uh, don't know what I'm doing next week. Probably back to Southbourne. Happy days. Thanks for watching. Bon Dieu. Oh my God, look at, the, look at the size of that quickly. God, that's even smaller than that one. Happy days. Right, Bobo Fishing Adventures out. Until next time. Oh, double shot. Oh, yeah. Double shot about there. That's it then. Eight, eight. All to play for. All to play for. Happy days. Still, at least we're almost out of worms, so you'll <laughs> suddenly slow up. <laughs> uh, Tiggity boo root. Time to bring my worm rod in. As I say, we're now out of ragworm. I've got my last cast with the rag here and then I'll have to have to tighten that drag up a bit there we go uh, and get the bigger baits out but it's still still flooding at the moment but you can see it should, should almost stop something but yeah it's just it has gone quieter now without a doubt a little bit slower yeah, there might be something there yeah there is definitely something there I think very small if it is Bro, come here. Now, technically, it now goes nine to me, eight to you, but it should actually be 10. Because oh. all I've got left on that lower <laughs> thing is a pout's head. Something's had that. Something's had that. So, do I count that? I suppose I do. <laughs> the best part of the fish, isn't it? Yeah, I know, so... 10-8, <laughs> happy days, he pulls it back. That's funny. Plenty of crabs. Probably a spider crab or something. Just add that. Well, this is my last worm now. I have to break out and have a either up or over or pulley. Not sure. Right. Let's get this out there. They are flying tonight.
And so it's very deep out there. It's got to be close to 50 feet I'm casting into. Nice. I say those eliminators are certainly are something else. Phenomenal work really. They are heavy, they do bend. But I think you can certainly say you've got to know what you're doing with them. They're not for the faint hearted. Yeah, nice work. The last test, I'm very tempted to try uh, treat myself to a pair of casting specials. I mean those uh, Gower Hyperspeed LDs, superb. But really, after using that pen mag, I mean it's the older pen mag as well to be fair, the original. Um, that is way out casting the LD. And so I, I got a mag by Chris Macy. I sent them off. So I've got a match pair of them, which you've seen before anyway. They're all mags, but I'm definitely here. Uh, I think I will do treat myself to a couple of casting questions. Happy days. Well, that's it. We're back at the car park. Oh, what a hike and a half. Absolutely knackered. Cars all loaded. Now one and a half hours back to Southampton. Not as long as some of you guys travel down to Chesil, but that'll do for a robin. Right, I hope you've enjoyed it all. Um, once again, don't leave your rubbish down there. There's massive bins here. We've just brought ours back. There's no excuses. And uh, enjoy it. Just hope you don't fucking die. <laughs> anyway, till next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.